Hi everyone, I just wanted to do a quick video on some projects I've been working on and um, I'm part of a tag swap on Your Paper Pantry and uh, June's theme was garden party and the first thing I thought of when I heard the term garden party was um, the those lanterns uh, the Chinese lanterns and so I got this stamp set I've been wanting but um, once you know once I knew I was gonna do a garden party themed tag I knew I had to have this set because I really wanted it for this uh, lantern image so this is my tag I'm not sure how well you can see this um, I'm looking at the screen right now and the light just it just looks like there's too much light but anyway um, I started off by um, using uh, the frosted forget-me-not starburst stain and then I sprayed it with patina glimmer mist and then I, I stamped the images of the lantern I knew I didn't want to stamp them directly on the tag uh, so I wanted them to be more three-dimensional so I stamped the images onto a piece of yellow cardstock because I wanted it to look like light was coming out of them and I cut them out and I poked holes at the top and I ran a wire through through them and added beads onto the wire and then I poked holes in the side and stuck it through and bent it down and then I, p I put a piece of design paper over the back of it so you can't see the wires. And then um, the picket fence is a Jolie's sticker and then I used a uh, leaf ribbon that I got from frostedpink.com and for the for the vines and then the roses are um, ribbon roses that I found at the dollar store in the wedding section and I just had to pull off the the little green ribbons that they had attached to them and the butterflies are from the Mariposa paper I cut them out and they're kind of three-dimensional they're they're not glued all the way down and then up at the top the uh, dragonfly was a brad that I, I cut the prongs off of and it was silver and I colored it with the uh, I believe it was stream uh, alcohol ink so that I can make it sort of bluish and then I topped it off with some pink lace that I stapled with my tiny attacher and then I glued some a piece of a flower shape bling to the top of it to cover the staple <clears throat> and then I put some stickles on the I don't know if you can see it on the lanterns and uh, and so that's my tag and then I'm also in a charm swap and I will put I, I can't off the top of my head remember the name of the blog sorry I'll put it um, down below uh, and what it is is we have eight people per group and we each have to make eight charms and then we get one of our own back along with seven other charms and the requirements of this swap were that we had to use a charm we ha and we had to use a bead and it had to have some way of attaching it to a tag so this is what I made and what it is I took a heart charm and actually four of them are flowers and four of them are uh, hearts and I added these two uh, beads are Swarovski crystal or however you say it <laughs> and uh, then I have a like a pearl bead here with caps silver caps on it and then two more of the crystal beads and then it's got a, a lobster claw uh, uh, clasp there to attach it to a tag and, and I have attached it to a tag just uh, sort of give it a nice presentation and I use the starburst stains on the tag I don't know if you can see the shimmer there and added a, I added a pink eyelet and some pretty fiber 
and I will be putting that in a, a little Ziploc bag and uh, so anyway uh, that's what I've been working on for the past few days so anyway I hope you enjoyed this thanks for watching <laughs>